Welcome. My name is Mark Baer. Welcome to Muse. My guest this segment, Adam Liu, professor at the Defense Language Institute. And welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay. So what we're doing here um, is we're talking about the folk art of Chinese paper cutting and your father was something of a master. Mm -hmm. So let's discuss that. So first of all, I would like to introduce uh, this traditional Chinese art form a little bit. Um, this art, we call that paper cutting. This is one of the world's most ancient art form, and it has more than thousands of years history. And recently, it was listed by the United Nations as the world's intangible cultural heritage. And paper cutting is Chinese people's favorite art form because, you know, first of all, uh, I think it's because of its accessibility. Because anytime, if you can have a piece of paper and you can have a scissor, just with a little bit of imagination, and you can do this. You don't need anything else. And another thing is that in Chinese paper cutting, no matter how complex the design is, all the lines are connected to each other. So it represents a kind of unity and harmony in our nature. And also, you can see the paper cuttings are very festive and decorative. That's why in China, during those festival times and during some celebrations like weddings and birthdays, people always post the paper cuttings on their windows, doors, and walls to express their happy feelings. So it is quite a beloved art form in China. So one of the reasons besides the, um, just the inherent beauty of what this is, because they are gorgeous, uh, we're talking about showing your father's yes. work here as a way to let, as a window into the Chinese mind and as a, as a way of having a conversation yes. between our community and, um, and, 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 and China. Yes. Because uh, we need to, we are linked <laughs> at this point in our history, and we need to understand each other. One of the things yesterday, as you were showing me yes. through some of these things, mm -hmm. is you're going through some of the symbolism in there. And the, it helps me understand a little bit about the Chinese character, and uh, I, I think that's really important. That, you know, art has, uh, a really strong communicative uh, value, but you have to understand the story inside of this. Definitely. Uh, show, show, him, show, show us the one that your father did for you. As you can see from this picture, there is a horse in the middle, because this year is uh, Chinese year of horse, and the horse in China represents success. So definitely he wishes people to be successful by cutting this piece. But you can also notice the horse is inside of a big apple. Because in Chinese, very interesting, the pronunciation of the word apple is the same as peace and safety. So basically, he wants to say, you should pursue your dream, but always be safe and be peaceful. Don't get hurt and don't hurt others. And you can also see from this corner, there is a bat because the pronunciation of bat in Chinese is the same as blessings. And the clouds represent support and helps, and the flower represents prosperity and opportunity. So basically, it means he wishes people to seize the opportunity, get all the help you need, follow your blessings, and run to your success. And there is a little touch from here, and you can see there are two coins, and those are Chinese ancient coins. Uh, they represent the wealth. Uh, but you can, you can see they are outside of this big apple. It means sometimes you have to leave the money behind because they are outside of your safety zone. So I want to know a little bit of, uh, about you and how you got here and how you uh, got with the Defense Language Institute. What's your background? Um, I graduated from Monterey Institute of In International Studies and I studied simultaneous interpretation over there and after my graduation and I think um, I discovered my passion is teaching our language so that's why I am in Defense Language Institute right now. Actually the job uh, of what I'm doing is kind of the same uh, as my father. I'm using the language uh, to bridge the communication and my father is using his art. So you're going back to China soon, 
and hopefully going to bring more of this back with you. Yes. And then hopefully we'll have a, a show. The idea being then is a, a, a bigger conversation. And how do you envision that conversation going? Both my father and I strongly believe art is the best tool to bridge people together because through his artworks, just like what you mentioned, they are like a window and you can see through them and see what Chinese people are doing, uh, what they are thinking and what they like. So definitely we hope we can have a bigger event and with more pieces of work um, displayed and uh, our American friends can have a better understanding of what China uh, look like right now in the current days. Our mission at the museum is to tell the stories of our community. Uh, the Chinese community in Monterey plays a very important role and uh, th so this is going to be a really great opportunity and I'm really um, looking forward to this. I want to thank you Adam Liu, um, I'm Mark Bear, and uh, you've been watching Muse. Thank, thank you very you much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Great.